All right, another Wi-Fi battle versus my boy Kyle. If y'all enjoy these, make sure you let me know. Leave a like and sub. We both got the Hydrapple. He has Sun. I also have Weather. But uh, I don't know which one's better. I feel like the Entei is going to go crazy into me. And also, I don't really have great leads into the um, Arcaladon. But I think I'm going to lead off a Tentacruel. See if I can get a T-Spike immediately and go from there. My Hydrapple is really, really strong in this game. It's really, really, really strong in this game. I think I can do it, though. I, I think I can legitimately do it. Because with T-Spike up, it helps me win. I'm so worried about that Arcaladon and also the uh, Gouging Flame. I believe that's how it's called. I don't even know all the Pokemon names right now. I know Raging Bolt. I know Walking Wake as well. Like, I obviously, I know uh, Walking Wake for sure. But, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Good luck to my boy Kyle. Check out his channel as well. Link is down below. Big shout out to Ralts Boy for passing this team. I'll give you guys the team ID at the end of the battle. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. It's cool to do Wi-Fi battles again. I don't know how long I'll be doing them. I definitely have Draft League games going up for sure. But I just really want to use these Pokemon. And honestly, this is what's been making it the most fun for me. So, ends up leading off with the Walking Wake. Now, Walking Wake is a giant threat to this team. Um, I wonder if I just straight up died to Specs Draco. Okay, I kind of feel like I do. I am only a regular Tentacruel. I don't have any Spadef EVs. So Draco may just end up KOing me, but I'm going to go for T-Spike anyway. And I do have Flip Turn on Tentacruel now too. So Ghost Flip Turn himself, perfect. The Ghost Flip Turn himself, I'm able to get on my T-Spike here. And we definitely will be keeping these up in this game. I'm assuming the Arcaladon is going to be coming out just because it can go for its Electro Shot and do a ton of damage to my team. I do have Excadrill though to Revenge. Excadrill is very good in this game, and I am Terra Fire as well. So hopefully I can live um, the Gouging Flame. <laughs> Dude, his nicknames are crazy. All right, there it is. So I got a T Spike. That's gonna help me out a ton. Uh, I'm definitely thinking Electro Shot's coming out here. I, I have a few options. I can pivot out to Excadrill if I really want to. It's very, very risky, but I, I do. Yeah, that's my option. No, there, there's no other thing. I'm, I'm literally I'm literally doing it. If he ends up going for rocks, that's fine. I don't even think Excadrill KOs this Pokemon. I'm Life Orb, yeah, but I really don't think Excadrill KOs this Pokemon, even with a Life Orb, just because this Mon has insane bulk. I have to look at it again, because I don't know. The Pokemon's not even a showdown at this point, so let me look this Pokemon up. Roy, let me look at this Google Doc. I know it has 90 HP, and what is it, one something defense? Oh my gosh, it's so bulky. <laughs> It has 130 defense, 90 HP. Are you kidding me? Ah, perfect, perfect. Ends up bringing out Torkoal, which is absolutely amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So, I don't think he knows that Tentacruel got a nice little buff. I think my dog just coughed. You okay, Puka? Um, doesn't know that Tentacruel got a nice little buff in Flip Turn. So, I actually get to keep up the momentum right here. And bring out my Tyranitar. Now, the reason I bring out Tyranitar is just because I want to change the sand immediately. I want to change uh, it to sand immediately. I want to get the chip on this thing. I can also threaten this thing with Stealth Rock too. This is basically a Pokemon he doesn't switch in very well to. It's a Pokemon he doesn't switch in very well to. And he could try and spin here. Hmm. I don't have leftovers. Like I, I don't. Like I do have Stone Edge. Maybe I do go for Stone Edge here. Actually, I go for Earthquake just in case they go Arcaladon. If he wants to spin here, that's fine. I'll do a lot to him with Earthquake. I kind of want to double out into the Houndstone here, but I'm a little bit worried to do it. And I guess if he, if he has Body Press, I'll go down most likely just because I'm Max Attack T-Tar. But I really want to Earthquake into our Caledon just because I have zero switches to that thing. So, and that's what I think will be coming in. I don't think he'll risk Torkoal right here on a Choice Band Stone Edge. I really don't think he'll risk Torkoal on a Choice Band Stone Edge. I do think our Caledon can come in. Yep, he does switch out. Is it the Arcaladon? Five throats. That is the Hydrapple. Nice. Ooh, you end up getting the poison on that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, it does have the Fickle Beam, so that's something I want to be aware of, too. I wonder if it's Specs. I have no idea, but this is something I definitely have to wear down. Maybe it is Specs. Okay, it's Leftovers. Perfect. So, it being Leftovers means I do live the hit, so I will be getting up Stealth Rock here. I do have a Sandstar Special Defense boost as well, so I'll be going for Stealth Rock here. And uh, just to wear down the Torkoal even more. I'm going to barely live this hit, but I'm definitely going to live it. So yeah, we want the rocks up. Help me out. He was scouting for Bandit Edge. Also, the way it came in, I'm thinking he's physically defensive on this thing. 
maybe? Is there a bomb? Not gonna KO. Perfect. It actually doesn't do much at all. I got the sticky candy syrup. No! Hey, wash off, bro. But yeah, we got the, the... The damage on this is gonna be really, really, really nice. Especially because I can pivot out into Deoxys next. And get up spikes in front of it. Now, Fickle Beam is crazy if he wants to go for it. But I think Deoxys can recover with the poison and everything. And help me go along. Yo, I've never actually... I don't play a lot of VGC, so I haven't really seen that move too much. That's really cool. I'll make the Deoxys play now. I want to get spikes up. I need to wear down Walking Weight. Puka, Eevee, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I think someone was at the door. But I want to get up spikes. I need to wear down Walking Weight. I basically need to put everything on my opponent's team in range of Earthquake. That is the goal. To put everything on my opponent's team in range of Earthquake. Just so my extra girl can sweep. Now, a Fickle Beam... Um, yeah, the Fickle Beam is very strong though, but it does only have 8 PP, and it actually has 4 PP versus this Mon. So there's a Syrup Bomb, lowers my speed, that's completely fine. Uh, Sand obviously is still going to activate though, because I have the um, I have the Smooth Rock. But Deoxys eats that up, I'm still faster as well for this turn. I think I'll be faster even after the lowered speed to be honest, just because that Mon is not very fast. One second, I'm going to talk to them, I'm going to see if I can see what's up. Okay, so the person was at the door, but now I think they're just playing. So I'm going to get up a spike here. If they end up bringing up Torkoal, that's fine too. But just these hazards damage are really going to start wearing down Kyle's team. Uh, I want Torkoal to go down. I want basically everything to go down. So I don't mind a recover here, especially because what I think is going to happen this turn is that Kyle is going to end up switching out into Torkoal to try and Rapid Spin. So what I'm going to do is go for Teleport. What Teleport does is it lets me see what Kyle does first. It lets me see what Kyle does. And also it gives me the momentum. So let's say he stays in. I can switch into something on this mod instead, basically. Because again, all these hazards are going to go a long way versus Kyle, so I actually don't think he's going to stay in. I think he is going to go that Torkoal. And this time I think when he goes Torkoal, this time I think when he goes Torkoal, I, I teleport into Tyranitar, get up to Sand again. If, again, if he does do this. It's awesome that they gave this mod teleport as well. I'm very happy. But yeah, he's definitely going to be fearing the hazards, so he wants it to go up. So uh, Torkoal should come out, I think, anyway. I could be wrong, but either way, I get momentum this turn and we can figure out what we want to do. Also, I think that double was to catch my drill. Goes for Nasty Plot. Oof! This is going to be crazy because this Mon is actually a giant threat to this team. This Mon is actually a giant threat to this team. I wonder if we just go Speed Tie? No, I think what I do is I go Tentacruel. I go Tentacruel, I have Clear Body. I don't even know if I live Fickle Beam, I'll be completely honest. It's only 80. I mean, if it gets the double power, I don't think so. But I'm doing this just because I can go for the Poison Jab. I do have um, max attack investment on this, so it should ideally to a KO. I basically want to force a Terra from this Mon, that way I can knock it out with Extra Drill. Because I don't think I'll be able to. Basically, I'm hoping that it's like Terra Water or something so I can hit it with a Life Orb Earthquake. But this poison damage really helping me out. So big shout out to Tentacruel. Uh, losing Tentacruel would be pretty bad, but it's not the end of the world. So we'll definitely go for poison jab here. Do as much as possible. Uh, let's see if he gets the crit. Not the crit, but it's, the, <laughs> it's not a crit. But let's see if he gets the five hit fickle beam. I think it's 30%. Not the five hit, but the double hit. You know, the, are they five or seven heads? I think they're seven. I'm not sure. But let's see what he gets, basically. I'm assuming that... Hmm... Maybe taunting with my Mon would have been better as well. Like maybe that could have been absolutely better. I'm not sure though. Let's find out. All right, he does stay in, perfect. All right, this is a max attack. That's a beautiful poison jab, beautiful. He does go for the Fickle Beam. All of them did not come together, but it did get a crit, which is crazy. I literally just said, let's see if he gets the crit. Uh, he did get a crit. A little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. I think, the, uh, I think uh, Tentacruel would have lived that. And then been able to knock it out in the next turn. But at least we got rid of this giant threat. We do lose out on a walking wake switch in, which is really sad. But um, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes from there. Hmm. I think there's only one turn of sand left. I think we got to go drill. We got to go drill. We got to go drill here. Now, Life Orb Earthquake definitely knocks this thing out. I doubt it'd be Terra Fly. I am just going to click EQ. I'm not going to predict here. If Torkoal comes out, I'm still in a fine position anyway after. Uh, and his team does not switch in very well to this at all. So he should be good. 
Again, drill is still the way I want to clean up in this game. Oh, he does switch into who? Wait, I don't think Walking Wake takes this. This is Stealth Rock. I'm Life Orb. I I'm an extra drill. Like, I know it's been a minute since you've been in the game, bro. Uh, extra drill. But this one is Life Orb and Strong and there's Poison. I think Wake is just... I think Wake is dead. I really think Wake is dead. Yeah, this is a Life Orb drill, fam. That's a Life Orb drill. Alright, that's a giant threat gone. That is an absolute giant threat gone. This mon is a demon. And we get to knock out the Fickle Beam. He's definitely not going to be able to spin on me either. Like, if Torkoal comes out to try and spin, I'm going to go hard into Houndstone. I'm just going to let the dogs play. Like, they're not here for that long. I love them. Let, them. let them have a good time. They're just playing with each other. Eevee and Puka. I have a dog named Eevee. Named after... Guess. Yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> and Puka's named after um, the dog from Anastasia. Which I think is also really cool. But... He does still have a few things that can mess me up here. The Entei, if it has boost energy, is faster, I believe, because Sandstorm just ended. I don't see any sand anywhere, so I assume this means Sandstorm has ended. I love Flip Turn on Tentacruel, by the way. Getting momentum is so sick. Like, it's actually so sick. Being able to get momentum like that, so sick. So I love that. I don't know if my Hydrapple is going to be able to do it here, but... Okay, that's the Entei. Booster energy? Oh my god, hey, that mod is... Yo! That mod is giant! Booster? Is it Booster? We don't see Booster. I don't want him to Terra here. Hmm. I'll go Hydrapple. Yeah, I'll go Hydrapple. Why not? I think he might Terra. I can definitely uh, Terra Water in front of it. I think he'd go for a Fire move. I am max special attack, so I'm actually... Okay, he does Dragon Dance. He does end up Dragon Dancing up. You're a, a goat for that. I think he bluffs Scarf. You're an absolute goat for that. Now, I have no idea how much I end up taking from this thing. I'll be completely honest. But I'm going to Terrastalize, pray it's not a lot, and go for the Fickle Beam. I'm going to Terra here. Uh, I don't know if I live plus one. I don't know if he's Scale Shot. I do not know if he's Scale Shot. I do have Tyranitar into... I, I still have tools to win, right? I think as long as I have the Tyranitar plus Houndstorm, I should be okay. He does go for Scale Shot, Loaded Dice. Oh, I eat that up for breakfast, even if he gets five. Yeah, I eat that up for breakfast. And it is five, or four to five because of Loaded Dice, right? So, we're going to eat that up. The Terra ended up working out for me, and I'm going to be able to knock him out with that Fickle Beam. Are they all going to come together too? Are they all going to come together? I got to see. I got to see right now. Did they all come together? Oh, they all came together. That's sick. That is sick. So we end up picking up that KO. This mon's bulk is so nice. I'm so happy. Okay. This, I know I can put both this and Drill in the thumbnail because you actually did something. You saved me from getting swept. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. That is so cool. I'm assuming if our Caledon comes out, it's going to end up going for the um, electric move, electro shot. I really do. If they end up bringing out Torkoal, I think I'm actually faster than Torkoal. Torkoal's like base, what, 30? Yeah, Torkoal is base 20, so I am faster. So nice, so they end up bringing this out. I'm max special attack, so Torkoal's dead. Torkoal's straight up dead. I'm sorry, you're not max speed on this boy. No way you max speed on Torkoal. So Torkoal should die, I should be getting... Let me see how many Pokemon you have left. That's the wrong button. They have... Two after this. We have Raging, they have the Rager. I think I just Fickle Beam again. Yeah, I literally... Did it just go out twice in a row? Yo! All right, another KO, baby. I think he thought it was physically defensive, so maybe pray that Torque will be faster, but nah. That is not the case. That was absolutely not the case there. Now, in order to win this, I still need to beat the... Yeah, that's the biggest threat right there. That Mon right there is a giant, giant, giant threat. That mod is a nasty threat. However, I believe all I got to do is get up sand. Because I, I got to get rid of the Protosynthesis, right? What is it? Special attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be specs, but I got to get rid of the pro oh, Protosynthesis. And then get up sand with Tyranitar. And I think I can win the game with Houndstone plus Extra Drill. It's going to be close, though. It's going to be close. Because our Caledon is actually a big threat, too. But yeah, as long as we get rid of this, we get rid of the Protosynthesis. So we'll be in a good spot. Dude, I'm so happy about Flapple. Uh, it's just a flapple. I'm so sorry, Hydrapple. That was <laughs> my bad. I'm happy about you too, though, either way. 
Oh no, he goes for the solar beam! No, it's gonna. So the thing about solar beam, not only does it not work well in this, but it's also have damage. It's also have damage. So that means it's actually not gonna KO me. There's a chance I'm faster, and I'm gonna be able to go for earthquake here. Oh, and me being faster is so big too. Yeah, the jolly max speed T-Tar, and I get a nasty crit right back, just like the uh, the the hydrapple on me. Oh man. So the great thing is you can't go for electro shot here. So I can get off damage on the uh I can get off damage on the mon. Wait, this mon's still alive? Oh I forgot it has regen. Whatever. I, I outspeed you and I click crunch and you die. So I forgot this mon was still alive. I really did. But anyway, crunch KOs. For sure. That's the power of Jolly Max BT. Kill the crits again, but that crit didn't matter at that point. A max attack. The crit definitely uh, most likely mattered on the Raikou. I forgot about regen. Wow. Wait, that means I get regen back on Mon. Let's go. Let's go. And then it comes down to this guy. I don't know what terrors he has. I don't know how much speed he's running on this guy, but I'm clicking Earthquake. This is definitely going to be his terror cap though, right? He didn't. Did he terror with that flapple in front of me? I forgot. I keep calling it Flapple, like it's not Hydrapple. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not on purpose. I will get used to these mons once we, um, once I play with them a little bit more. Ah, oh, man. Okay, what Terra? What Terra is? Is it Fly? It's Terra Fight. Okay, so it's gonna go for Terra Fight Aura Sphere. Ooh. Terra Fight. Okay. Flash Cannon. Okay. Terra Fights was not weak to Earthquake. It does not KO me there. And Tyranitar is able to get off even more damage right here on this Mon. I do get the Stamina Boost though, which is really scary. Stamina is actually really, really, really scary. That's really scary. I know what I'm going to do though. I'm going to trick it. I'm going to trick it with the dog. Because as long as it's locked into a move, it won't beat me. Yo. Terra Fight is really cool on this. There's like three minutes left in this game. All right. So what I'll do is I'm going to trick it with my Houndstone. That way it locks itself hopefully into either Draco Meteor. I don't think it'd go for Draco Meteor. It might be AV, um, but I don't think it'd go for Draco Meteor. I'm going to trick it with Houndstone. That way it's locked into a move. And that way my Hydrapple lives and can knock it out with the Fickle Beam. So we'll trick it right here. I'm not even positive that. I don't even think Choice Ban Player Off knocks it out just because of the defense race, but... We're definitely going to give it a choice ban, that way it's locked in. What is it? What's the set? Gets choice ban. What did I get? I got a power up. So it was going for the electro shot. Okay. He goes for the electro shot. Gets a special attack raise. He's locked into that. He's locked into that. I mean, as long as it's locked in, it doesn't matter, right? At this point, I just go for guaranteed damage. I go for guaranteed damage here. I think Sandstorm's gonna end up knocking him out, so I don't even have to go for anything else. Unless this KOs. It's 100% accurate. And it's plus one. This guy's really strong. Oh my god, that move is so strong. I, I cannot believe how strong that move is. But yeah, Shadow Sneak into Sand should be able to knock him out, and that should be game. I kind of wish he went for Flash Cannon to a KO me. Oh, Shadow Sneak just knocks him out. That was a great game. Uh, Hydrapple was absolutely sick. That bluff, that bluff, with the fire, with the fire intake was crazy, but Hydrapple was absolutely sick. Being able to tear water. That's just max HP, by the way. Max special attack, modest. That's no bulk. That's it, right? That's all the mons? The game's over? Did we disconnect? If he disconnected, it's not on purpose. He didn't disconnect. That's his last mon. Yeah, that's not... He didn't, he didn't disconnect. He didn't disconnect. He literally didn't disconnect. That was his last mon, but... Either way, that was... Um, that was a fire game. Yeah, he didn't disconnect there. Don't worry about it. That Kyle is one of my good friends. I played him in draft leagues. We've gone back and forth. That obviously was like an accident. That was not on purpose. But either way, um, I don't know. I, I, he said, dude, dude, I, I promise I didn't rage kid. I promise. <laughs> I'm assuring them that you didn't. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. This was a great Wi-Fi battle. Let me show you guys the uh, the team real quick as well for those that want to take it. Big shout out to Rolts Boy. Just nice um, nice sand with the Hydrapple. 
I don't think Kyle expected the flip turn on Tender Crow. Again, that's a brand new move it finally got. But if you guys want to use it, there it is. Uh, Deoxys is legal right now in OU, which is why I decided to try it out. Pretty cool, Deoxys, to see it back. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.